Hello everybody and welcome back to Stark Riding the Throne Blob. Uh. Uh. It feels like I haven't done this in a while for some reason. Probably because I haven't. The last one I recorded was on Thursday. So yeah, that would be accurate. <laughs> we're back. We're we're back. Uh, forty-two. I think I've done forty-two before, but like levels get rated every day. So okay, that's not so. That doesn't seem so bad. Hopefully, they'll actually be good this time. <laughs> Cause. Ugh, dude, last episode, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I have a lot to talk about today. I got uh, new games, new experiences, new trials and tribulations. It is, it, I've been, I've been actually doing some stuff. For instance. Uh, yesterday, yesterday, we, not yesterday, who the fuck are you talking about? On Saturday, we went to go see M The Empire Strikes Back, but it was a full symphony, like, concert, where they'd play the music along with the movie, and, uh, like, I haven't seen like the prequels in a long time, but from what I remember, at least in my opinion, Empire Strikes Back probably has the best music. Like it, it has the it has the Imperial March, it has the asteroid, uh, battle, not battle, the asteroid like chase music. It has the Battle of Hoth. It has the track that plays when Yoda lifts Luke's uh, X-Wing out of the swamp in Dagobah. Like, it's, it's, it's just so cool to hear the songs that I've heard, like, at, it has to be, like, 20, over 20 times at this point. But, like, with, with the, a live orchestra playing the music, and also being in a um, being in a studio not a studio a concert hall with like a bunch of people that's like a big crowd and I'm like cheering and like ah it's the, it's the Imperial March oh my god it's Darth Vader I am your father you know it, it's 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 it this, this, this is gonna sound really dumb, but <laughs> it's like watching it again with like the symphony and stuff. It's like, damn, that's a good movie. And <laughs> I know I've seen it like gotta gotta be like twenty times at this point, but it's just. <laughs> It does. It it feels like it doesn't feel like it's the first time I'm. It doesn't feel like I'm watching it for the first time again or anything. But it definitely feels very fresh and new, which is really cool to see with a movie that I've seen so many times at this point, and kind of gotten tired of to be honest. Not. Not that specific movie but like the star wars in general i do like the new like star wars shows and stuff that they're doing but in terms of the actual movies it's like i'm um, honestly it if you came to me and asked me if whether you thought what if you asked me whether i'd watch the prequel trilogy or the original trilogy, I'd pick the prequels. 
because I haven't seen them in a while and I I know I know like <laughs> everything that happened in the original trilogy is like inside out so and that that is something that I want to get in that I want to try to watch again because like Mega's favorite um movie is Revenge of the Sith um and I I watched a Cinema Wins video which is like if you know who Cinema Sins is it's just literally the opposite and it's much better because it's not it's like actually genuine and not People who don't understand anything about movies but that aside i watched like the cinema sin the cinema wins not, god damn it the cinema wins video on the prequel trilogies and you know it, it kind of makes me want to watch it again i mean of course it's gonna be bad and it, like it's gonna be cringy at parts but i i feel like I'd have a good time rewatching them again. Maybe not Attack of the Clones, but definitely, definitely like Revenge of the Sith, especially. But yeah, it was a good time. But there, there's always that one guy who's like, I'm so funny. I'm gonna be like yelling and stuff during the movie. But the people he's with told him to shut the fuck up. So it was fine after a while. Um, yeah, overall, great time. But actually, I actually haven't seen the original trilogy in a while now. So it was, it was nice to revisit it in a pretty cool way. That's that's cool thing number one. Cool thing number two, I got Elden Ring. I'm very excited. I talked about this last episode. <laughs> I just remembered. But I've been making progress, kind of. I've beaten two bosses at this point. I don't even know if they're classified as bosses, maybe they're just like mini bosses, but th they had like the big health bar at the bottom with like their own arena and uh, all that stuff. So, you know, I don't know, <laughs> but it's, it's fun, but I'm not hooked yet, you know? I'm not absolutely like super into it like with Hollow Knight or like Cross Code or something, you know? Maybe after like a certain point, I'll be really, really into it and having a lot of fun. And I'm starting to have a lot, of, a lot more fun. Like I had a lot more fun today than I did my last session. because I was able to actually kill stuff without dying five times. But yeah, I'm still kind of lost 
without like a clear goal or anything. So once I have like a, a clear goal, or maybe like once I encounter the first major boss, it'll be a lot more engaging and I'll be a lot more into it and then I'll get addicted to it like I have been with Isaac. Speaking of Isaac, holy shit, the, I've been trying to unlock the Forgotten since yesterday because Cookie said unlock the Forgotten or your bitch, so I've been trying to grind it. And I've, I've gotten kind of close, but it's so hard, dude. It's actually so hard. If I, when I, no, not if I, I'm getting dead god. Like, I'm getting dead god at some point. When I, um, eventually get the Forgotten, it'll, pr it'll definitely be the hardest thing I've done in Isaac so far. I say I've gotten close. I've gotten close to receive to getting the item that you need to take further into the game to actually unlock the character. So I I I'm really only like halfway. <laughs> the furthest I've gotten is really only like halfway. But you know, getting halfway in like two two days isn't so bad at my like skill level but god it's so hard but it's i'm actually i thought it would be the definition of pain and suffering but i'm actually kind of enjoying grinding it because it it presents the game in a more challenging and unique way so it's a, it's another cool way to try to complete the game so not that not that i don't have trouble with just basic isaac <laughs> but it's something different you know i was kind of starting to get a little bored with just like at least some characters but i mean i still have so much stuff like to, to put it into perspective i have like 171 achievements or something and that's like 25 percent of of the total achievements that you need to get so yeah it's it's gonna be an experience but it's not gonna be an experience that i'm gonna quit on anytime soon so I will be talking about Isaac a lot. <laughs> Maybe not every day because I'm not going to do any do major stuff in Isaac every day probably, but you know, just a warning. <laughs> Thankfully, these levels are good this time, so...
Or at least I can have a good time chilling and vibing. And speaking of hard things that I've done in the game, you know, I'm actually like, <laughs> I'm actually, I just realized with like three games that I'm playing, I'm doing really hard challenges. Like Elden Ring is just hard in general, but like the Forgotten in Isaac and my new game plus playthrough that I started in CrossCode. <laughs> oh my god. It's insanely hard. But I, I'm having a good time. What I did is I made enemies hostile. So they always aggro you. No matter if you attack them first or not. And on top of that, I made them do four times my four times normal damage. And I also gave myself only half the healing that would normally happen. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting. Uh, I played around two hours yesterday and I got past like three of the very first quests so oh my god but crosscode is like one of my favorite games of all time for sure so like for sure i will I will for sure be beating it. I'm looking forward to how hard the actual bosses are, but that's something for uh, future me to deal with. <laughs> Before you know it, I'm gonna start grinding AQ again, and I'm gonna f I'm gonna start a master mode file in Terraria. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with me, man. I love, I absolutely, I think I I love hard games way too much. Like, I don't know if any easy games are in my top 10. There are hard games that are, that I don't like. <clears throat> the one I'm playing right now. But, yeah, like, at, at least, like, at some point, there is a huge challenge. In like a DLC or like post game content or something. Like Sans and Undertale, uh God Home and Hollow Knight, the DLC of Crosscode, um like Celeste in general. I guess Doki Doki. Not really, but it was it was, it was hard to get through emotionally, <laughs> so I think that that should count for something. <laughs> like I, I have no game. I don't have a game that I can just chill and play. I mean, I kind of do, but. My idea of chilling is like grinding something hard, you know, like Isaac or something <laughs> or like super auto pets where it's actually pretty hard to win, you know, like Fortnite, <laughs> you know, 
I'm just a sweaty gamer, you know what I mean? I still need to find a game that I can just chill and play. That isn't like that that is replayable. Like I, I've played games that are like nice and chill, but you also like finish with them and then you don't play them anymore because you finish with them. <laughs> I guess star grinding is something that's not too hard but I do like chill but it's also making content so you know what I mean <laughs> I feel like uh, something like Animal Crossing I feel like I'd like Animal Crossing or maybe if I were to start a Minecraft realm with people like they join and then we could all like chill and play Minecraft together or something that's something that I've always wanted to do man I've never I've never had that like the closest I've gotten was with my brother which is like it that's something but and it was fun but like having a whole realm with a bunch of people would be really really fun but the problem with that is would people play on it because realms cost money <laughs> to maintain so and it's not cheap so I don't know It'd be really cool to have like a Poggy Woggy cast uh, Minecraft realm or like a Du Bois realm with like Chris, Mega, Jeremy, Cookie, me, and like Cooper, maybe Jaws, I don't know. It would be cool. Dude, this level is kicking my ass. <laughs> okay, how do you do this? No, dude, come on. It's not that hard of a memory section, dude. Okay. There you go. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Also, this music, this song sounds so familiar. I'm, I forget what, I've definitely played a level of this song before, I just don't remember what it is, what it was. It's really, it's really bugging me. I'll have to check after I beat this. is new i don't know i've made a lot of progress in terraria this past week because i streamed it every day except friday last week so making a lot of progress but um there's just one small issue 
that will come into play in the next couple weeks. <laughs> because I will be in another state, but we'll sort that out at some point later. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go on a recording spree and create like the biggest backlog of all time. I should probably start that now, honestly. <laughs> Cause I'll be gone for a while too, so. We'll see. There you go, okay. God damn, dude. Memory Poggies. I I really appreciate that these levels aren't bad too. Especially after the last episode, like it, I got a break after the, the scuff to the max part two. Anything else happened recently? Not really. Dude, come on, dude. I've just been no lifing, I'd say. And recently, some Elden Ring and Crosscode. That's pretty much it. Also been watching the anime, but dude, honestly, <laughs> the watch-alongs are really, really helping. Dude, come on, fingernail. The <laughs> the watch-alongs are really helping with me with my ability to watch anime. Cause honestly. A lot of the shows I just don't finish because I'm either lazy or I don't feel like it. Like I, the only anime I've watched recently is Parasite with the watch party. So, <laughs> it it really does help me with catching up with shows honestly like i i'd probably just start using my list my anime watch list to recommend the shows because <laughs> i got so many that i want to watch but when i do start watching them they just um that was terrible by the way I just don't finish them. Like, honestly, I hate to say it. If I did wa start watching Parasite on my own, I probably would not finish it. I, I like it. Don't get me wrong. I Dude, come on, finger. I like it. I still think it's a good show. But it's not like really good to like keep my attention you know <laughs> right now this can change we're only like a third of the way through the show but or like we're like half but right now if i were to give you a ranking on parasite i would say it's like a seven Which is still good, but if I finish a show, it's probably because it's really good, like at least like an eight at the very minimum. Like I like it, 
put like this on it. You know what? Honestly, I'd say it's like a six point five right now. Cause I I like the concept. I like the show, and there's some cool ideas in it. But there's also like weird romance like stuff that I don't know if I'm that much of a fan of. Like those every girl that the main character meets have to be in love with him like and the at points they do like a drama like love triangle type thing i'm like i want i want to see aliens fight and kill each other man <laughs> and not not that serious stories can't have slice of life stuff i that's often the slice of life stuff is what makes me what elevates the show above all of the other shows it's just that the slice of life in this show isn't that good <laughs> So, I kind of, I like the main girl, even she's kind of weird at times, but I like the main girl, but yeah, everybody else is like, eh. <laughs> Actually, there's another character that got interesting recently, but that builds into spoiler territory, so I'm not gonna like mention. I'm not gonna say who it is or anything, but there, there's a way to have slice of life stuff and like chill stuff be in an in a show with also very serious scenes and like elements like that's why steins gate is my f favorite i don't know if it's my favorite but it's like it's it's top three at least <laughs> steins gate is definitely top three if not my favorite anime of all time dude oh <laughs> Like, Steins Gate has really, really good thriller, mystery, time travel stuff. But one of my favorite episodes is also the one where Okabe goes on a date with Rukako. You know, <laughs> like, it, it's. If if parasite, if parasite slice of life stuff was as good as this action stuff, it would definitely be one of my favorite shows. Probably, which is funny because uh, the main character's look, <laughs> at least right now, kind of reminds me of Okabe. So. That would be, dude, I just want to beat this level already, come on. I, I actually am going to kill a child. <laughs> Why has my finger decided to double click like three times in like 10 minutes at the exact same spot too? It doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't. I'm 
my finger's just not used to playing GD, I guess. My finger's not used to clicking a mouse anymore. It's just used to uh, tapping arrow keys and shooting and dodging projectiles and enemies and Isaac. I gotta retrain it again. I gotta make it remember uh, how the hell a mouse works again. There we go, dude. Oh my god. God damn it, dude. Okay, wait, I, I think I remember what level it was. Was it One-Eyed Man? Yeah, it was, okay. I was thinking about it while I was rambling on. Okay, let's go halfway through. Not even have a hammer for forty percent. It shouldn't be that hard from now on though. Jesus Christ. These are cool levels today, dude. Why does this sound like twenty one? Evens by twenty one pilots. It really exactly sounds like that. Is this the song that will play when I complete my transformation into the Joker? This is definitely very emo. It's definitely gonna have a drop, and I know exactly what the drop's gonna sound like. <laughs> oh my god. This is actually just Heathens by 21 Pilots, dude. Oh, you can die to that? Nice. Okay, never mind. The drop was worse than I thought it would be. <laughs> The level's cool though. I'm not gonna knock the level because the song is just... <laughs> okay. Okay, the effects are cool, but the gameplay is just copy-pasted, man. Dude, it's actually... If it asks you how did I know... Please don't make any sudden moves. You don't know the half of the abuse. I don't know the words. That transition there, dude. Like, all my friends are here, then take it slow. You know? <laughs> Probably don't even know what I'm talking about, but sure. Whatever. <laughs> This song's I, I kinda I actually don't like this song. 
The beginning was fine. I like, I like, I like the heathens. I like that song, but. Wait, you know, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's especially fitting that it reminds me of heathens, and I, um, talked about this being the theme of me becoming the Joker because Heathens by 21 Pilots was like the it was like the trailer song for Suicide Squad 2016 when that came out so can I just beat this first try please Yeah, this build up is so good and then it's just bad. <laughs> it's, it's a good build up. But it just turns into like generic whatever it is. <laughs> just like insulting the artist of this song. I just insulting the song. Level's cool though. I'm just gonna take my headphones off for a little bit. <laughs> oh, it feels weird actually like hearing my clicks. Not that I don't, it just my clicks are a lot more clear. They're not being cancelled. They're not the the noise of my mouse is not being cancelled. Yeah, just don't die to like bad transition. I like seventy. Oh, there you go. Okay, I think I beat it now. This might be celebrating too early though. Never mind. This is just the easiest game of all time. Raised. It's so edgy. I'm deleting the song. <coughs> Mo motherfucker really named themselves Grandson. <laughs> okay. Headphones coming back on. Lumescent, not luminescent, lumescent. Is that even a word? Okay, this is the first like generic level of the of the video. Which is like the sixth level I've played being the the first generic one. That's not bad. I like this the gameplay isn't bad either. It's not like it's a bad level. Ready? I think so. Okay, that transition was kinda cool actually. Okay, you know it's all good. This flying might be a little bit annoying because you can't really see the spikes, but. Just follow the arrows and you're fine, probably. This is easy. I can beat this like first try. Was that first try actually? No, it wasn't. Ah. No, it wasn't. I died at the ship. What are you talking about, man? This song? <laughs> actually, I, I was about to say this song sounds like another song by Envy, which makes sense. I forgot what it's called. But, dude, cock. <laughs> Brought up! Fix your game, dude. Dude, I actually hate this game, dude. 
I I still enjoy doing this series, but dude, <laughs> I, if two point two comes out, I don't I don't think I'm making videos on it. Honestly, like it's just whatever. It could be like a a good way to get famous, but also. Mm, I'll make I'll make silk song content when that comes out. <laughs> it's it's a much better community and a much better game as well. At least I hope. I mean I would hope that Silk Song is a good game. <laughs> Almost there. Oh my god, don't chug. Light. Geozor, ooh. I don't know any of their songs, but I, I know that they're good. Sorry for the lag. What? Oh, there was a jump warp in there. Low detail mode. Yay. <sighs> Dude, why? Laptop. I, I, laptop. Fix your damn game, dude. I did. <laughs> maybe, maybe this will be poorly aged. And I, frankly, I hope it's poorly aged. I don't care about two point two at all <laughs> anymore. Uh, man. Platform mode is probably gonna be cool. I'll probably try that out for a little bit, but. <laughs> like, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I just don't like to be that much. I'm like, I've gone through these phases before where I don't play DD like at all for a couple months, but this time I feel like it's more final. Maybe, I don't know, 2.2. 2.2 is going to bring me back for a little Like, I'm going to at least try out 2.2, but I'm not that excited for it, to be honest. <laughs> Ugh. like a seven star four times speed should be locked behind um making a demon level <laughs> there's no way to have that be a thing that works but like 
honestly. I feel like I'm getting old already, man. I can't keep up with four times speed anymore. Okay, that's actually really sight readable and actually pretty cool. And then this like just like easy. What the hell? <laughs> easy section. Okay. Let's do that one more time. What the hell was that? That, that's actually really fun. At first I was like, oh, this is like the first bad level, but... What? Excuse me? What? <laughs> Dude, the one time... Okay, the one time... Okay, this is just like an easy ship at the end. If they aim you with that? Come on. I don't want to play this anymore. Why is that? Why is that sight? That four. Oh my god, you piece of shit. Why is that four times speed section like the most fun I've had with CD in like a while? <laughs> god damn it. How are you supposed to do this, dude? That's so hard. Unless these spikes over here are fake. They're not? How? How? How though? How? Dude. I, I think this is the... I think I'm actually gonna skip this. Will this be the first time I'll skip a level because it's too hard? <laughs> Can't go. What the hell? This is allowed. <laughs> oh, it's the coin route. 
Okay, I can beat this then. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. I thought it was just a free coin because so many other levels just have free coins like that, but it was bait. It's actually the hardest coin in the world. I honestly, dude, I honestly think that coin is like too hard for me. <laughs> Okay, don't collect the coin. Do not collect the coin. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see. <laughs> God damn it. I got, I got trolled. Starless Knight. By Gus Earth. <sighs> Ooh, okay. Oh my god. Let's go. First try. Let's go. Okay, I'm going insane. Gotta finish this episode quick. <laughs> Nightscape. Brownie and vanilla. Hmm. I could go for some brownies right now. TBH. To be complete. I don't do so. What's the best dessert? <laughs> oh my god, we're really going here. What what's the best dessert though? Dessert tier list. Ice cream. Just like all ice cream. I think that's ice cream is like an S tier. Cake. Cake has to be divided up into stuff. So like regular like vanilla like sponge cake or like chocolate cake or like that. Stra strawberry shortcake. Probably like B. Brownies or S, for sure. Cookies are. Cookies are, A. Yeah, cookies are A. Um. A lot of the fancy desserts are an S, like a creme brulee. Or. A I don't know dude I I can't but dude, after like July like 16th you're gonna have like the pog the it, we're gonna I'm gonna have so much to talk about. I don't know if I actually properly talked about this before, but I'll be going to 
Vegas, San Francisco, and Portland from July 2nd to July 15th. So I will have a lot of stuff to talk about. You got I'll have a bunch of stories. You won't let you won't You won't let me just shut the fuck up. I won't be able to shut the fuck up. That's what I meant to say. I'm dying. I need I need help. Isn't this like a three star? Why have I not beaten this yet? <laughs> Okay, so that's Among Us. So true. Among Us. Among Us. Among Us. Among Us. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm dying. Okay, please be easy. Please be easy. That's only 33%. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm cutting it off right there. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, and I hope you enjoyed this episode, even though I was kind of tired and not really into it that much. But I will. Next episode will be good, I promise. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. And I will see you on Wednesday, the 22nd. Bye.